Let the peace, love and blessing of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ is the bridegroom. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Abu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband that I may present you that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Second lesson, 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 5. Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time, that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. Golden text, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 33. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself and the wife should and the wife see that she reverence her husband. Quote Brethren, that is our message of joy today, but I want everybody to be very attentive because everything created by God has a share in this very gospel. Many people do not know that our Lord Jesus Christ is the only bridegroom of all. Many people do not know that our Lord Jesus Christ is the only bridegroom to all humanity. Whether you are single or married, you are not on your own. Nobody knows the reason why couples war, why couples wear rings as a sign of marriage. This ring signifies physical togetherness, but spiritually, both the husband and the wife are one, and Christ is the head and ruler over them. Unless a man is in, is united with Christ. If he remains alone, he is incomplete. So it is with the woman. Therefore, it is a mistake for somebody to say that the unmarried person are incomplete. Before, because Christ is the only bridegroom to all. If there are certain people who say they are working for God and cannot marry, they are regarded as fools. No one has power over himself and would therefore do what he likes. The first punishment that everybody receives is because people do not recognize the actual bridegroom which is Christ. Many people do not know the source of affliction they receive in life and why they fall from the glory of God. Since Christ is the bridegroom and the controller of everything around you, whether you are a boy or a girl or a man or a woman, once you commit fornication, you are faced with problems and God leaves you. But if you forsake fornication, you have separated yourself from sins. If you claim that you have no husband or wife, and because of loss of the flesh, you feel you can do what you like with yourself, you are a liar. Because since our Lord Jesus Christ is the bridegroom, you are his bride. The scripture says, Which child whom the Father loves? that does not receive chastisement. When you have Christ, he takes control of your entire body and you become free. Therefore, you cannot claim to own yourself. And once you commit sin, 
you must receive punishment. Why you experience hunger or anger or pride or maliciousness, hatred, telling of lies, drunkenness, fighting and quarreling and all forms of vices is because you are an harlot. This is likened to a woman who without um, and her, her husband living alone by herself and at any time she becomes ill she has nobody to take care of her either to give her food or water or even one to talk to yet she continues suffering under that illness so it is with a man without a wife he cannot cook the meals he would like to eat as could be prepared by the wife. As a result, he prefers eating outside every time wasting money. Also, when he falls sick, there is no one around to care for him. Therefore, just as a man or a woman who lives alone cannot cater for oneself, Without the help of some other person, if you separate yourself from Christ, you cannot survive alone. The significance of broken marriages. Brethren, an adage says, There is no smoke without fire. The reason why there is trouble in numerous marriages is because the husband and wife are not in one single self in whatever they do. Some husbands allow their wives to attend church services, claiming that they are busy over one important matter or the other. As such, they cannot go to church. On the other hand, there are women who are the only authority in the family. As such, they would claim priority over the family upkeeping or attend to visitors in order to force their husband to go to church without bothering them. By this action both parties fail to understand that the church is meant for all and that all things work together for good. You are given the power to control yourself but our Lord Jesus Christ is given the power to control every spirit and every humanity if you out of ignorance address the woman as my wife and the woman call the man my husband you have made the worst mistake both of you are sister and brother because man and woman come from come from each other and put together with Christ at the end, you become one whole. I feel pity for all because the world has suffered a great deal through ignorance of the truth. God created all things and placed them well. If therefore one knot is missing, you cannot achieve anything. So it is that if all women are put together, they form only one half. And if all men assemble together to achieve something, they form only one half. That is the reason why here in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, when a man is selected, a woman must be added for equality. Any woman or man who says, oh, I have enough money, I have enough academic qualifications, I am of a high position in life, and as such, I can stay on my own without the other, is a liar and wants great sufferings. No matter the academic standard and status of a woman, she remains only a woman. Also with a man, he can only dream as a man. One man cannot go to university 
in order to learn beyond his own area. Therefore, none can research each other's area of existence. Also, do not think that the whites are very intelligent people. Without Christ, you can achieve nothing. So it is that without the, the head, the entire body becomes useless. To prove how important the head is, you could be slapped on the cheek or the back of the head or be kicked at the legs. Yet you are not worried. But once a knock is given on the head, you know it is very insulting. Therefore, man and women and woman being flesh must suffer because they do not allow Christ to control them. We would not bring forth bad children or face difficulties in life if only we surrender ourselves for Christ. I seem to have taken you deeper into this revelation. Our Lord Jesus Christ did not reveal what you have now heard. His assignment was the shedding of blood for the remission of sin. But it is my duty to reveal this kingdom to you openly. Many people say they are waiting for Jesus and keep on gazing into the sky. If you wait for Christ in like manner, you will wait till the sun sets. Others claim that there are many laws in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star that no one should drink or fornicate or quarrel or fight, that meat should not be eaten or that no one should go to court and many other others which they feel they cannot comply with. Then I say, you can continue waiting for Jesus. Do you think that God created drinks and snuff and cigarette or anger and fornication and evil vices so that you may inherit them? You also say you want to marry many wives as your forefathers did. And because of this, you cannot come to brotherhood of the cross and star. Because the law in brotherhood say only the law in brotherhood says one should marry only one wife. Then I ask you again, how many wives did Adam marry? If you, the woman, claim having a husband, you would keep us you would also keep boyfriends as a means of enjoying life. I ask you, how many boyfriends did Eve had? Did your first parent Adam and Eve indulge in this act of fornication? Adam lived for 930 years and after Eve had given birth to four children, Adam decided to avoid her in order to avoid committing fornication with her. So Adam went and slept on the top of his roof, leaving Eve alone inside the house. When God saw this action, he queried Adam why he preferred sleeping on the rooftop. Adam replied that he wanted to extinguish the sexual urge within him by running away from his wife. God told Adam, when I did told you not to eat the forbidden fruit, you did not adhere and now you suffered. He also told Adam that since you have now realized the effect of fornication, I have taken away this urge from you Therefore, go back to your wife. It was because God removed the sexual urge from Adam that made them live for so long. You often heard that people in the past lived for 700 years or 200 
years or 150 and so on. But today, nobody lives up to 70, 40, 30 years before they have sexual knowledge with a woman. What is the position nowadays? A child of five or eight years and if so too, and if too long, 10 years of age, had already indulged in intimacy and could even conceive. It was because of this act of filthiness in man that our Lord Jesus Christ made the statement that foxes have holes, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head, which means that the world is so corrupt that there is no place for the Holy Spirit to dwell. And Adaj says that a greedy and careless child will be killed by the same thing that killed his father, but a more careful child will kill what killed his own father. You are aware that 90% you are aware that 99% of the troubles in the world emanate from marriages. Things could not have been like this. But there was no one to lead the world. Most of you regard fornication as being an act of enjoying life. But do you know that it leads to death? It is said that the sins on the body is not so sinful except that which penetrates through the blood. Think of somebody having an affair with your wife or husband. If either the husband or the wife is fully aware of such dealing, the affected party would not forgive the other. It is equally the same that if your body is not pure, our Lord Jesus Christ has no link with you. That is why Christ said, If by adultery you find your wife or husband guilty, you have the right to seek divorce. From the day one party has an affair with some other person outside the marriage, punishment sets into the, the house. You remember the story of Joseph when his master's wife tried to force him to have intimacy with her. Joseph knew that he would offend his God if he accepted her wishes by committing fornication with her and thereby told his master's wife that he would rather die than offend his God. The woman felt disgraced by the servant Joseph and she sought every possible way of punishing him and subsequently told a lie against Joseph before her husband ordered that Joseph be imprisoned. I must make it abundantly clear that any woman who commits fornication is not offending her husband but Christ. Same with the man who claims the acts of fornication as a pride Therefore, if you have not Christ, of what use is your life? Anyone who associates himself with her lot is one flesh with her, but he who is one body with Christ is the Lord. You are not told to forsake fornication in, in other to acquire wealth, children, luxurious cars, building, or high position in life, but so that you can own Christ because the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is here on earth. A spiritual chorus says that the bridegroom has been given, but are you prepared to receive him? Christ rules over all flesh and controls the spirit. When you are told to forsake fornication, you grumble about fine women around. Were these women made for you? Are you not aware that from this indiscriminate act of fornication, 
you bring forth bad and stupid children which causes the trouble in the entire world allow God to manifest in you brethren you all know about Holy Mary the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ if Holy Mary did not separate herself for Christ she could not have delivered the Lord our Savior Holy Mary kept herself pure until the prophecy that the Holy Spirit would bring forth a male child to be the Savior of the world became manifested on earth. Therefore, the Holy Spirit has come to prepare you for His glory. When God finished His creation and made the statement that man should go and be multiplied, were you there to advise God? What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the Spirit is heavenly. There is no use beating your children because they are stubborn. Because these type of children are the fruits of fornication. Re-examine the first lesson.